Happy New Year and hola mis amigos and possible amigas. My name is Taffrey16. Welcome back to another reaction video. Welcome to my first reaction video of 2021. And welcome to my... Fuck, what are we on now? Is this 15th? Are we are we on 15th reaction to Father Ted? I actually didn't check before I did this. Let me see. Is this 15th? No, this is 17th. Shit. This is 17th. My 17th reaction to Father Ted. Uh, after it took a break in December, we are back. We are doing two episodes a month, and I believe if we continue on that schedule, we will finish this series in April. Today, we are doing Old Grey Whistle Fifth. It is the fourth episode of the second series. The title is a pun of a BBC music show, Old Grey Whistle Test, which ran throughout almost the entirety of the 70s and 80s. This is might be the most requested episode uh, out of the episodes that we have yet to do. So I'm pretty excited to see this. It's fun. It's all I love this show. It's pretty much my favorite show out of the shows I react to. So, and I'm sad that we're ending soon. But at the same time, I'm happy to watch it again. So let's do it. Alrighty, here we go. Old Grey Whistle Theft. It's good to be back with Father Ted. It's good to be back. It's been almost two months, actually. Hasn't it? Because the last episode I did was at the beginning of November. So. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, I did two last month. Yeah, yeah, never mind, never mind. Never mind. I did two in no November, I should say. But still. Still, still, still. Alright. Old Grey was that. So he's already having an affair with the sister, and this is when his wife is seriously ill in the hospital. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Incredible, isn't it? <laughs> so who does he make pregnant but the babysitter? <laughs> so now he doesn't know whether to stay with the wife, the sister, or run off with the babysitter. <laughs> Bruh. And when's his next confession? Tuesday. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> anyway, I'm really looking forward to this. Jesus uh, Me too, Ted. It's great to take a day off every now and again. It shouldn't be just work, work, work now, should it? Yes, it's not as if everybody's going to go and join some mad religious cult just because we go out for a picnic for a few hours. God, Ted, I heard about those cults. Everyone dressing in black and saying our Lord's going to come back and judge us all. <laughs> no. No, Dougal, th th that's us. That's Catholicism. All right, right. Right. Jesus. Here's the sandwiches the for the picnic. The rest are in the kitchen. Great. Right. I hope you enjoyed them, Father. Oh, I love a sandwich from time to time. Doesn't matter what flavor it is, just as long as it isn't egg, because you know how much I hate egg, Mrs. Doyle. God, <laughs> even the smell of them brings me out in a terrible rash. I tell you, I wouldn't eat an egg sandwich if you paid me. They're horrible, stinking, smelly things, as I told you before. Do you remember me tell you earlier, Mrs. Doyle, anything except egg, and how I wanted anything at all, just as long as it wasn't egg? They're egg, aren't they, Mrs. Doyle? Yes. <laughs> right. I'll eat them, Mrs. Doyle. I love egg. Sometimes I think I like egg so much that one day I'm going to turn into a big giant egg. <laughs> You probably will. I think that process has already begun. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Ted. No, nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, so, ready? Oh, ready as I'll ever be, Ted. I don't think I've ever looked forward to anything as much as I've looked forward to this picnic. Really? Right, so. Oh, wait, Ted, I, I just remembered I can't go. <laughs> what? Why? Hey, oh, yeah. It's Dougal in. <laughs> Hello, Father. Hello, Sergeant. What the hell? Just doing the rounds. <laughs> On the trail of some crazed murder, no doubt. What was that? Sorry? Something about a crazed murder. Where? When was this? No, I, I was only joking. All oh, right. But if you ever hear of a crazed murder on the loose report, it'll give me something to do, you know. Yeah, he's right. bored. It's very quiet here, you know. Not yeah, sweet mustache, though. Yes, yes. So if you hear of anything, you know, a car wrongly parked. Anything. <laughs> Tax uh, up to date on that car. Uh, it is, yes. Yeah, I thought it might. Hi, Sergeant. Can he park on the grass? Certainly you can find him for that. Who was that young priest, Father? Hmm? Oh, I don't know. So, Father Maguire isn't going on the picnic, then? No, never mind. Uh, I'm meeting Larry Duff and a few of the lads from St. Columns. Better oh, give no. Them a call make sure they know where they're going. No, don't call Larry. All egg, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Bruh. Leave Larry alone. Hello. Uh, hello, Ted. Hello, Larry. How are you? Ah, oh, grand. A bit of a problem, though. We mightn't be able to make the picnic. Ah, oh, God, Larry. Why? Oh, well, you know, Father Williams, who was driving us over... Billy? Yeah, what about him? Yeah, well, they found a big box of machine guns in his house. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have thought he'd be interested in that type of thing. Ah, yeah, well, you think you know someone. 
Anyway, there you go. Yeah, yeah, bye. Uh, bye. Oh! Well, just well, he's dead. I suppose. Legit, he's legitimately dead. <laughs> drink! It's not drink, Father. It's just fizzy water. Jacob's Creek Chardonnay, 1991. <laughs> Just the sound. Drink, drink, drink. Father, I was thinking of going on a little picnic uh, on my own, outside. <laughs> you wouldn't like it, Father. You'd be much happier here. I mean, you'd, I mean, that is, they'd, I. Uh, <laughs> That's a shitty picnic area. Oh, fuck. Nice. Oh. How the fuck? Here, do you want one? Ah, no thanks, Father Lennon. What time's your tea ready? Frosty usually has it about six. No? Who? Frosty. Father Frost. Oh, wow. Frosty. Brilliant. The snowman. <laughs> what do you call your fella? Uh, who, Ted? Yeah. Oh, just Ted. But it's the way I say it, you know. He's an awful idiot, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which one do you prefer? Oasis or Blur? Blur. What? Oasis, I, I mean Oasis. Father Alien, your tea is ready. I'll be in the middle. <laughs> like 80s Johnny Depp. Sam Maybe. <laughs> Great, here we go. The, the life of Mel Gibson. This is my fucking spot. Get the fuck off. Hey, Frank. But there's lots of room. Could you go over there? No fucking way. F U P O F F. Yeah, fuck off. We come here every fucking Sunday. But this is Saturday. What hey, the fuck Frank, is this? I'm for you. Hey, fucking one, two, and so are you fucking. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> fuck off, you grasshole. You grasshole? I'm calling a fucking man! Hey! 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 Oh god, there's the whistle. What's the problem now? Listen, this Baxter priest is in our spot! <laughs> We were just put the fork down. What? Oh, put I wasn't got... Put the fork down. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Sorry, what the Open fuck is going on? Very slowly to your sides. Slowly. All right. I'm going to put the megaphone down now. All right. Are you ready? Jack's just sleeping for this. Now, I'm going to reach inside my pocket, all right? Nice and slow. Everything's fine. Ah! You get it? I'm going to be honest, I'm just going home. So, fuck off, you pedophile! All right! Come on, what? Come on! Come on! Nothing to see here. Come on, back to the picnic. Nothing to see here. You left Jack there, bro. Ah, uh, there you are. You wouldn't believe the day I had. You wouldn't. God, I met the rudest couple. And that you left bench, Jack? With this bloody whistle blowing it all the time. Somebody should take it off, man. Anyway, where did you go off to? Oh, I went off with uh, Father Damo Lennon. He's over with Frosty. Who? Uh, Father Frost. <laughs> oh, yes. Father Frost. He said they might come over for a bit of a holiday. Father Damo was great. What's wrong with you? What are you doing? <laughs> Dude, why are you walking you like that? Stick up your like ass? What, like a crab. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Ted. Oh, is that? <laughs> Dougal, what's that? What? This? Oh, nothing. Dougal, it's an earring. It better be a clip off. All oh, right, it is all right, yeah. <laughs> Dougal, what's got into you? You can't go around wearing an earring. Ah, no, Ted. All the young priests are wearing them. Father Damo has one. Oh, I see. And did Father Damo give you the idea? Yeah. Yes. He's great. 
What next? I suppose he'll be giving you crack cocaine or something. Crack cocaine? Ah, come on, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll have to take it out. Look, Ted, you don't know what's going on with the young people. Oh, I was young once. Once. God, the things we used to get up to in the seminary. <laughs> Me and a bunch of the lads there, once we mitched off to see a Dana concert. <laughs> Dana. <laughs> No one's listening to Dana anymore. You'd want to be mad to listen to her. Oh, yeah. Father Bigley listens to Dana, and he's not mad. Why is he in that home, then? <laughs> he's in that home... Oh, shit, my webcam. Because, ...because of those fires. But that has nothing to do with Dana. <laughs> anyway, you'll have to take that earring out. Oh, all right. But I should be allowed to do what I want, Ted. I am nearly 26, you know. You still treat me like I was worry. 24. Sorry about that. <laughs> Tell you what, Dougal. I'll start treating you like a 26-year-old when you start acting like a 26-year-old. It wasn't that year blurry, old. but sorry about blurry. Anyway, it's time for your bath. A bath? Oh, no! <laughs> uh... So was it Ted or was it Jack? Hello, father! Uh, hello! How are things? Fine, fine, good. Well, uh, I'll see you later. Go, 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 go. Okay. What the hell? You bastard! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Hello, Mary. Hello, Father. Oh. <gasps> Hello, Father. Hello, John. Mary was just washing my hair. <laughs> she has such lovely soft hands. Does she? I, I was just looking for some fire lighters. I'll get them. They're out the back. I didn't know Sergeant Hodgins had a helicopter. Oh, yes. He had to get one in because of this whistle thing. Oh, whistle thing. Yeah. Look. Isn't it terrible, Father? Oh. <laughs> the whole island is talking about it. Who would have thought that law and order would break down here on Craggy Island? God help us all, Father. Yes, but I mean, if it's only a whistle, I mean, you know. I have to buy myself a shotgun and everything. <laughs> Bruh, I wouldn't hesitate to use that now. <laughs> if that man came in and tried to steal any of the whistles I have in here... <laughs> I'd blow his fucking head off his shoulders. <laughs> I feel like it's Jack. Look, I have it cocked and all so I can get the jump on him. Would it not be dangerous to have it cocked like that, too? Uh... Not at all, Father. So long as you don't suddenly drop it or something. <laughs> Bro. There you are. If they don't work, bring them back and we'll give you a refund. <laughs> OK, so, thanks very much. You fucking idiot! Oh, shit. Give me that! Hello, Father. Did you hear about the whistle being stolen? Yes, I, I was... never thought I'd see the like. What next? Somebody will be murdered. And then where are we? Drive by shootings in the night. It'll be like boys in the hood. And then they'll have some bulls selling their wares in the street. And the pimps will be using crack to keep the whores under control. I'm going home now, Father, to lock oh. myself in the basement till they catch that fella. Goodbye, Jim. Mary just killed John. Goodbye. Or vice versa. Oh, let's go. Unbelievable. They really are making too big a deal of this. And look, a special pull-out supplement on whistles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Dougal, aren't you uh, going to introduce me to your friend? Oh, this is uh, Father Damo. How are you? Hello, Father. Playing the old computer game there? <laughs> I think it was Jack. Hello, Father. Ted Crilly speaking. I mean, he left Yes, him ah! <laughs> Father Frost. Yes. Yes, I'll tell him. Uh, Father Damien. Uh, Father Frost says you're to go home. Your tea is ready. <laughs> tell him I'm not going. I'm having dinner here. Oh, are you? <laughs> yeah. Hello, Father. <laughs> uh, no, he's staying here for dinner. <laughs> um... Uh, Father Damien, Father Frost said you're to go home immediately. Shy! Did you tell him I'm having dinner here? Uh, yes. 
Well, tell him to flick off, then. <laughs> Stop He's happy enough here for the moment, Father. <laughs> right. Okay. Father Frost said if you don't come home now, he'll come down and get you. Yeah, tell him that's fine. I don't care what he does. It's not the boss of me. Right. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going. Tell him I'm going. I'll see you, Dougal. I'm going. Dougal, mind this for me. Oh, yeah, right. I'll get them off you later. Frosty hates me smoking. OK, Demo. You praying, yeah? No, no, they're, uh, they're, they're Ted's. <laughs> See ya, right? Oh. See ya. <laughs> Dougal! Oh, God, what does he want now? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Consonant, please, Carol. <laughs> Well, um, another consonant. <laughs> well, consonant. <laughs> Richard, where are you going? <laughs> Dougal, I am not Richard Whiteley. Go back to sleep. You're dreaming. Is that a countdown? Consonant. <laughs> Put your clothes back on, Carol. I can't concentrate. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, woman. What are you doing up? Oh, I Fuck. always stay up, Father, in case one of you needs a cup of tea. You go to sleep. How long have you been doing this? Oh, about three years now. <laughs> but we never get up at night, Mrs. Doyle. Well, you're up now, aren't you, Father? Unless I'm hallucinating from lack of sleep. I'd be both. That's happened before, all right. <laughs> I'm just getting my jacket to, to go for a little walk. Right, so... Go to sleep, you nut job. <laughs> oh. Dougal. Oh. Oh. oh no. He took the whistle. Dougal, is there anything on your mind? Let me rephrase that. <laughs> Is there anything you want to tell me about, sir? Uh, something bothering you in some way? Like what, Ted? Have you done anything you might be embarrassed about? Uh, have you done anything bad recently? Anything wrong? Wrong? Something yes, Jack. Wrong. You remember right and wrong, the difference between the two. Page one of How to Be a Catholic. <laughs> Honestly, Dougal, this is very basic stuff. <laughs> what is wrong? Give me an example of something that's wrong. Oh, just, just give me a second, Ted. I, uh, I... Arson. There's one. Murder. Arson. Swearing. Death. Swearing. Yeah. Anything else? Theft. Uh, um. Uh, <laughs> lying. Well done. There you go. Yes. Thanks, Ted. I was Ted. <laughs> Dougal, are you all right? I'm fine, Ted. I, I just need to sit down. <sighs> Sorry about that, Dougal. Probably pushed you a bit hard there. <laughs> no worries, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Dougal, something else that's wrong is, is stealing. What I'm trying to say is it, it's, it's wrong to steal. Stealing is just something you don't do. Right, except you. Yes, <laughs> uh, you're allowed to steal. The what money was just resting about? in your account. Money from that lord's <laughs> Different thing altogether, Dougal. Uh huh. First of all, that money was just resting in my account <laughs> before I moved it on. It was resting for a long time, Ted. Yes, but, but, a good long rest. Look, Dougal, we're not talking about me. Holy we're talking shit. about you. He's Is there anything you want to tell pwned. me about? This, for example? Father, 
Sergeant Hodgins and Mr. Benson are here. Oh, uh, my God. Dougal, uh, Dougal, you just go out and get the, get the shears. Oh, right, George. Hello, Father. I'm sorry to disturb you like this, but uh, I thought we might meet and talk Why about you this. heard about the whole whistle business, Father? Why is he in a winter? When I woke up and saw that my whistle had been stolen, I went into a state of shock and lost the use of my legs. <laughs> well, what? one of them, anyhow. This one's fine, but this one, oh, completely lost all feeling. Look! <laughs> the shock also affected his memory. It's actually that leg that there's no feeling in. Anyhow, come on, Carl. Did you hear anything? About what? About my whistle. What the Did hell? Did you hear anything during confession? No, no. Now, come on. The confessional is sacrosanct. I have had that whistle for 40 years. It saved my grandfather's life. Did it, really? It did. He was being executed by the British. They had him up against a wall and they shot him. And the bullets all hit the whistle in his coat pocket and bounced off him. God almighty, so he survived. <laughs> no, no, they just reloaded, shot him again. <laughs> Listen, Father, I don't want to be saying anything, but um, Jim saw someone. Yes. Well, he didn't get a good look, but he did notice something. The collar. Jim said it was a priest who stole the whistle. All right, that'll be Ted. <laughs> what? Do you remember, Ted? You were talking about stealing something and you showed me the whistle. You put it in your top pocket there. <laughs> no, Dougal. No, it is, Ted. Go, try your top pocket there. Go on, seriously now. I bet you it's in there. In fact, I'm sure it is. Give it a go. <laughs> Just a bit more to your right there. <laughs> yes, Dougal. Thank you. Oh, right, yes. <laughs> well, there's an obvious explanation. <laughs> is there, Father? Oh, yes, of course there is. <laughs> Dougal saw it. What is it, Ted? <laughs> well, I just have to leave the room for a couple of minutes, but when I return, I will have a full and frank explanation. It had better be a good one. Oh, it'll be perfectly satisfactory. Just excuse me for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Why didn't he sell Deagle out? Dude, fair game. Dougal sold you out. So I hear your babysitter got pregnant. <laughs> Father, more oh, it was that guy. Get off! Right. I believe there's a Mr. Benson who's had a whistle stolen. Oh. That's right. That's me. Well, I have the culprit here. What? Yeah, yeah, I stole it. So what? It's only a bleeding whistle. I saw this Egypt with a whistle on Tuesday. Then I heard Mr. Benson's whistle had gone missing. I asked this Egypt where he got it. And he tried to put the blame on Father Maguire. Sorry about that, Father. Oh, well, it was my fault for stealing it. But you didn't steal it, Father. All right. <laughs> he hid it in a packet of cigarettes, apparently. Oh, well, that must be how we got a hold of it, because Father Damien gave me the cigarettes to mind. Oh. Ah. Right, right. I have a full explanation. <laughs> ah, Father, no, no, Father Damien, it. Father Frost, I was just about to tell everybody why I stole the whistle. I uh, know, Father. No, 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 no. no. I've been dying to get it off my chest ever since I stole it. Ted. Shh, Dougal. Fifteen years ago, I met a young boy, an orphan. Both his parents had been killed in some sort of bizarre accident involving trees. That's it, a tree fell on them. <laughs> they were both crushed. This young man, this young man had nothing to his name. Nothing except a dream. Ted. Shut up, Dougal. That dream was to own his own stable, with prize-winning horses in every bit of the stable. But tragedy struck. He was afflicted by a strange disease that affected his speech so that he could only communicate by raising his eyebrows. Once for yes, twice for no. <laughs> if only I had a whistle so that I could train my horses to win the Grand National in the Derby, he thought. That boy, that same boy, wrote to me just five weeks ago, asking Ted, me if I Father could... Damien took the whistle. Oh, great, that's that sorted out, so see you soon. Here, what's all this about the horses? Horses? Ah, nothing, I was just going mad there, yeah. <laughs> you have to go to one of those masses, you know. When's tea ready? No Holy tea for shit. you, Father Damien. Good, I don't want any oh, stupid tea. Oh, got him. <laughs> Dougal, don't fuck? put too much faith in people who are cool. They're usually just on the fast track to a life of crime. Father Lennon may have had a trendy haircut, but he lacked that inner dignity. Holy shit. in the priesthood. <laughs> Drink! Within a moment, Father. Yes, but you're just no place for bad apples like Father Damien or the Bishop of Galway or that fellow that was living with his housekeeper for 14 years or that friend of Father Bigley's who was sending the arms out to Iraq. The list goes on. And or on. you, who stole money. What's important is that we're back to normal. 
Well, you're right there, Ted. So have you uh, learnt anything from your experience? No. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh! Hey! Far! I'm done, Ted! What the fuck? That fucking rant was incredible. Incredible. Holy shit. <laughs> he just fucking spun this huge ass story. Something about a horse and people getting fucking crushed by a tree or whatever. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck me. That was a really good episode. I wonder if that was the best remaining episodes of the ones I haven't done. As part of reasons. Uh, some people told me it was, which is why I was considering holding out on it. But we still, I still, I mean, I doubt there's a bad episode of this show. Like, even if there's lesser episodes, I doubt this show has a bad episode. So I think we'll be good. Um, that, though, you know, I don't regret doing it now. Because that was a great way to kick off the year. Okay? That was a great way to kick off the year. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, that's going to do it for my 18th, 17th, 18th? Is it 17th? I don't remember. My my first reaction to Father Ted of 2020. Uh, well, there'll be another one later this month. But thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you will follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, or I stream every single day. My second channel for instant views, my Twitter. If you'll follow me, my Patreon, or my daily motion, all those things are down in the description down below. Uh, thank you to all 58 of my Patreon. I say it might be no, if different. Thank you to all my Patreon, because it's the first of the month and they get charged today, so I might lose. I don't know. Thank you to all my Patreons for your con support me and my channel. For those guys don't know, uh, you get access to the reading your comments as well as the reaction videos a day early if you are a Patreon of me. Uh, also, in the description is linked to Community Reddit as well as the data schedule as well as the Twitch VODs channel. For all that being said, though, my name is Tapper Steen. This has been my reaction to Father Ted, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.